Hi everyone and welcome. Um, my name is Helen Chapman. I'm the Joint Events Coordinator for the IATEFL uh, YLT SIG. Um, with me today I have Heida Heikel, um, who's in Egypt at the moment. Hi, how are you doing? Hi. Could you, okay. yeah, could you tell us a little bit about um, like your current working um, situation? Yeah, sure. Um, I work uh, at the British Council of Egypt. Uh, I've been working there for two years now. And uh, currently I'm teaching uh, young learners, uh, primary students. Um, they, my class, they, the one that I taught online was um, like upper primaries, they're like from nine to 11 years old. Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. And all from Egypt, they're all Egyptian students. Mm -hmm. Cool. Um, and for you, what has been the best thing about teaching young learners online? Okay, uh, many things. Actually, uh, I like it because it was the, it's new experience. So I like, you know, the changing stuff. I don't like the routine. So that was really nice. Uh, the technology, like I discovered, like everybody th thought that they, we know everything about technology. But with the online teaching, you like you know that there's a whole other world of technology, especially like it, uh, tech tools. So mm -hmm. this was the best thing because I had to experiment with many uh, tools, like uh, you know, um, quizzes, Padlet, Bamboozle, uh, Kahoot, every class craft, class dojo. Like I tried all of these things with my kids, mm -hmm. and it was fun because again, it new for me and for them. So it wasn't like uh, I'm an experienced teacher with online teaching and they're like, they're new with this. So I was like, every time they're like, guys, this is something that I'm gonna try with you and it's new. So I just tell them, so we do it together. And I was really lucky because I had like, the kids were so strong, like they're like primary plus six. So they, they had really good English and challenging them was one of my challenges, but it, and yeah, and I had to, like, I experimented with project-based learning online, and I tried to um, use uh, taxonomies, like, uh, HOTS, so it was really fun. Yeah, I think this was the best thing, like, the whole new experience and experimenting with different approaches and tools and stuff like that. Yeah. Could you, could you tell us a little bit about project work online with young learners? Oh, <laughs> yeah, it's... Uh, it was kind of challenging, and to be honest, I got some help from um, this uh, startup uh, training provider. It's called iDevelop ELC, and they helped me to do this project-based learning online because I've done it face-to-face -face before. But like, it was the challenge was about what to do in class and what to do offline. Mm -hmm. And then once you get to understand, like, to plan the structure, like, okay, so let's keep the collaborative work online and just keep the doing the research and the inquiries bit offline that kept, kept like the kids involved and kept the momentum mm -hmm. and the idea of the project was really nice because like also it was about plastic pollution and we involved like world's ocean day so because it was like before world's ocean day so the kids had to create a festival where they had to promote awareness about plastic pollution and it was it was so much fun and I think that what that bit because it was a real world problem and I yeah. think they weren't aware about it that much and I kept sending them like you I used of course the tools to help them do the research and like I showed them facts about how much plastic do we have and what we're doing like to our planet the the, the best reactions came from kids. Like they felt sad. And one of my students, she felt so guilty. That's like, I don't like myself now. It's like, no, 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 love yourself, but don't throw plastic away. Yeah. So, <laughs> and it was so much fun. It just needed some planning before, you know, like just to get the whole thing structured. Mm -hmm. So yeah, but it was great to be honest. <laughs> Fantastic, that sounds like a really, yeah. Like you say, because it's real world. So it's actually, I mean, yeah. and extremely relevant. Yeah. Fantastic that you could do that online as well. Because sometimes we think projects, we imagine being in the classroom physically and, you know, working with children in that way. But actually, yeah. the idea that you've managed to do that yeah. online is great. Fantastic. Yeah, yeah. It's so much fun. It's, 
I, I'm, I believe that what helped me that they were strong, like they already mm. uh, know how to navigate and use the internet. Mm. Of course, I supported them with some uh, like tips and like, for example, when I asked them to create the, the poster, like they created a virtual one. So I sent them YouTube videos about how to use Publisher. Wow. So it was like, they needed some support, mm. but they were already capable of using computers and internet and mm -hmm. stuff. So I, I believe that this part helped me a lot. Like mm -hmm. without this kind of uh, technological knowledge, mm -hmm. I, I, I don't really believe that I would have been able to do it like on that big scale, you mm -hmm. know? But yeah, it was fun yeah. uh, trying it out with the kids. Yeah. That's great. Cool. Thank you so much, Heida, for like for, for sharing that experience with us. Um, thank and you. thank you everyone for watching. Um, and bye for now.